Let's start by saying that weapons are perhaps the worst invention ever. Even though they helped us get to the top of the food chain, they are a very destructive force. And yet, they represent some amazing advances in science and engineering. Let's take a look at some of the most terrifying weapons in history. Number 20. The Spear Yes, they may be redundant now, but there is no doubt that in the days when early man was slowly finding his feet, the spear was the reason for his dominance. Be it bringing down huge mammoths or fending off against the saber-toothed tiger, the spear was essentially the only thing that stood between man and death. Number 19. The M1 Garand when a weapon takes almost 20 years of research and development and is considered one of the greatest battle implements ever designed by General Patton, it would definitely be effective, right? The M1 Garand was a semi-automatic rifle, which was very accurate. It fired 30.06 rounds and was extremely handy in combat. It was used extensively during the Second World War and had everything that an infantryman would desire from a rifle. Number 18, AK-47. Perhaps the most famous gun today, the AK-47 is a much sought after weapon. Be it Africa or Asia, the AK-47 is easily one of the most common guns, and the reason is that it's pretty easy to use. The 7.62 rounds of the rifle ensure that it packs a great punch and has an indestructible design. Of course, it's not very accurate, but when you're spraying those bullets by the dozens that the gun is capable of, accuracy is not really required that much, right? Number 17, Karl Gerat. Nazi Germany had a penchant for designing powerful weapons during World War II, and one of the most amazing ones was the Mortal Karl, or Karl Gerat. It had the capability of firing shells up to 2,170 kilograms at distances of over 10 kilometers. Six of these were built, and another one for testing, and they were responsible for much of the Blitzkrieg. But the gun was so heavy, weighing in at 124 tons, that it was fitted with a gasoline or diesel engine, and it had to use rail to travel long distances, but it could cover short distances by itself. Today, only one of them remains, which was the one made for testing. Number 16, Maxim Machine Gun. Hiram Maxim was obsessed with science. His many creations included mouse traps, steam pumps, and even an amusement park ride. But it wasn't until 1882 that he became a renowned name when he unveiled the Maxim Machine Gun. The gun was one of the reasons behind the success of the British Empire, and it even earned him a knighthood. Using a recoil-operated fitting system, the gun could quickly push out a used cartridge and insert another one. It could fire 600 rounds per minute and required a water cooling system to operate efficiently. Its destructive force was such that modified versions were used heavily in the First World War, which has also been called the War of the Machine Guns. Number 15, the Trident D5. The Trident II, or the Trident D5, is a submarine-launched ballistic missile which was first deployed in March of 1990. It is fueled by a three-stage rocket, which propels it to go from underwater and reach its designated target. As of now, it is carried by 14 U.S. Ohio submarines and four British Vanguard submarines. Number 14, Schwerer Gustav and Dora. Hitler wanted to conquer the world, and he was always looking for more destructive weapons to help him do it. The Great Gustav and its successor, the Dora, were one such weapon. It was a gun which was about 12 meters high, 47 meters long, and fired shells through a 30 meter long pipe. It is estimated that over 22 people could sit on the barrel of the gun. The Gustav was used in the siege of Sevastopol, but it had major drawbacks. It needed rail to be built in advance for traveling, and it was easily spotted by enemy aircrafts, who could bomb it. Number 13, Flamethrower. We've all heard of it, and we have all been amazed by its raw power. The Flamethrower is an incendiary device that projects a flame in a stream that is controllable. It was initially used by the Greeks in the first AD, and most of the flamethrowers use flammable liquid that is ignited and shot out of a stream. These are very effective in attacking bunkers and fortifications, and the Germans used it to devastating effect during the World Wars. Number 12, ICBM. The intercontinental ballistic missile can be guided to strike at targets up to 3,400 miles away and was built with nuclear weapons in mind. The most destructive thing about ICBMs is that they can be launched from anywhere, land, sky, water, or even underwater. These missiles guarantee a strike on the enemy, and later enhancements ensured that they could carry multiple payloads at one time. Number 11, RPG. Lovers of video games would already know about the destructive power of an RPG. It's a very simple weapon which can be used with the most basic of training. The RPG was used to fire rockets from a shoulder-held device onto tanks. Both the USA in Vietnam and the Soviets in Afghanistan faced massive losses because of the RPG. No wonder it's considered a menace among armored vehicles of any kind. 
Number 10. Pumhart von Steyr A medieval supergun from Austria, the Pumhart von Steyr was the largest wrought iron bombard. It could fire an 80 centimeter stone ball weighing up to 690 kilograms to a distance of more than 600 meters. The Pumhart weighed an amazing 8 tons and was more than 2.5 meters long. They were known for spreading terror among advancing armies, and even today, they present a very terrifying sight in the artillery halls of the Hiras Gascatilles Museum. Number 9. SAR Cannon When a cannon shares its name with one of the most powerful positions in the world, it has to be important, right? The SAR Cannon was cast in 1586 and weighed 39 tons. It was intended solely for the defense of the Kremlin and is one of the largest and oldest cannons in the world. Today, it sits on a gun carriage in Ivanovskia Square, surrounded by a thousand kilo cannonballs, but they are just decorative. Thankfully, the enormous gun has never seen military action. Number 8. B-41 The most powerful thermonuclear weapon ever developed by the U.S. The B-41 was the only three-stage thermonuclear weapon deployed by the U.S. The bomb weighed at over 4,800 kilograms, and only the B-52 bombers were able to carry it. Over 500 of these dangerous weapons were manufactured, and they were phased out of service beginning in 1963 in favor of the B-53 nuclear bombs. Number 7. P-800 Onyx Achieving speeds as high as Mach 5.7, the P-800 Onyx is so powerful that it can take out an entire U.S. carrier by itself. That is the kind of raw power that this missile brings, and it is safe to assume that no one would be willing to be on the receiving end of this missile. It has been designed primarily as an anti-ship missile, and its unbelievable speed guaranteed that no countermeasures will be effective against it. Number 6. Boeing YAL-1 Lasers are pretty much still a part of the science fiction club, but they are fast coming a reality. The Boeing YAL-1 is one such system which makes the use of laser technology to shoot down enemy missiles. The YAL-1 involves an airborne laser test bed mounted inside a modified Boeing 747. It proved successful in intercepting test missiles, but funding was cut in 2010, because of which it found its way to the boneyard. Number 5. Fat Man, Little Boy the Fat Man, Thin Man, and Little Boy were the code names for the three atomic bombs developed through the Manhattan Project. The Fat Man and the Little Boy were the ones deployed on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, respectively. The untold destruction caused by these weapons brought a swift end to the World War and made the world realize how powerful and ugly nuclear weapons were. The effects of the bombings are still seen today because of the nuclear fallout, and hopefully every time anyone thinks of launching a nuclear attack, they will remember the anguish felt by the two cities. Number 4. Nimitz-class aircraft carriers While not a weapon in itself, this massive aircraft carrier does have provisions for holding 130 F-A-18 Hornets, which can pretty much turn the tide of any war. What's more remarkable is that it's powered by twin nuclear reactors, which do not need to be refueled for 23 years. It's a mind-blowing 1,000 feet long and is the largest warship ever built. There are 10 such carriers in the service of the U.S. Army, and such is the awe of these carriers that they can single-handedly dictate global politics. Number 3. P-270 Mosket These Russian supersonic ramjet power missiles are shrouded in secrecy. All that is known about them are from pictures and some pretty basic information, like the fact that it's amazingly fast. In fact, it can reach speeds of up to Mach 3, which makes it pretty much impossible for anyone to counter it. The only good news is that it has a range of just 155 kilometers. The missile was developed by Russia in the 1970s, but today, China and Egypt employ them as well. Number 2. Tank Mark 1 The first vehicle to be officially called a tank, this giant vehicle could carry up to 8 soldiers with 5 machine guns. During the First World War, the army having these vehicles definitely had the upper hand, which was probably why there was a mad race to build the best ones. The tank received many upgrades, but the Mark I was the first to show the world how destructive this weapon could be. Number 1. Tsar Bama Hiroshima was probably the worst bombing incident in history. Imagine a bomb that was 3,000 times more powerful than that. The Tsar Bama, or the King of Bombs, was the most powerful nuclear weapon ever created. It had a yield of 50 megatons of TNT, and thankfully, only one was ever built. It was only detonated once to demonstrate its power, and it is said that the mushroom cloud which formed could be seen up to a distance of 161 kilometers away. The cloud was over 56 kilometers high. The remaining bomb cases of the Tsar Bama are now on display in the Museum of Nuclear Weapons at Snezinsk.
Have you ever seen one of these great weapons in action? Remember to let us know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe to our channel to get updates on our videos. Don't worry, it's free. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.